back when I was 14 years old. Had a flow so cold that if somebody heard me, my records would be sold at your local Sam Goody. Target or Best Buy. Couldn't tell I was a southerner. Thought maybe Bed Stuy or Philly or one of those other up north spots was where I grew up. They found out I wasn't. They shocked and did a double take. Was another fake. That's just how I spit. The motor niggas heard about me. Couldn't handle the shit. I wrote a song called Number Two Pencil. They all joked. They didn't understand the power of the utensil I wrote. All these bars and metaphors with my lyrical quotes. They couldn't comprehend the genius found in these pencil strokes. So they laughed and made fun. Pointed fingers and stuff. Made me the punchline of their rhymes, their comedies and such. It heard a little bit at the time. That's no lie. But fuck the opinions of non factors not on the up and up. I gave it all I got. I gave it all I got. I never catered to the times when I wrote down my rhymes. I wrote a bunch about my cars in the different designs. You never heard me kill a nigga unless lyrically wise. I gave it to you all real, wasn't shit in disguise. I moved to Georgia in the summer around the 11th grade. Still fine tuning my style, but it was coming of age. Just trying to find the right words to show my heartache and rage. And tell my story to the world on this hip hop stage. I did knock if I was a buck or whatever that means. My words are different from the other, more typical teens. I didn't care if everyone else rhymed different from me. I just wanna Alright, so it's the shirt I got on today. And these are the kicks. Oh. Coming from dinner dinner, excuse me, with the wife and my kids. There's one. There's one. The other two ran off and they're across the street. We Me and went, Dad. Yep. Went to our favorite place here, which is um, Takiko's. There's another. This is Olivia here. And this is Oriya. What's your name, little one? Olivia. Olivia. All right, run along. Run along. This good day of work today. So we decided to come out and have some family time. And our kids are running crazy. They're gonna get run over. Yep. Get out the street. And it's a nice day out here in Spain. Just out here taking a stroll now on the way to the car. Alright, so back home. It's dark in here. Heading into the kitchen. Alright, so back home now. After a good day out with the fam. Um, went out, had dinner with the fam, with the wife and kids. Uh, grabbed me a Sprite. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today, because I didn't really have much of a topic, but what I wanted to talk about today is creativity, right? So creativity in the sense of doing a whole bunch of things that I have in my mind, but I don't always have the the ideas or the 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 freedom, the ability to put these things out for the world. Say for example, this, this right here, what I'm doing now. So basically, as a creator, I feel like we can't be in the position to really quit. You know what I mean? Like, if you have these ideas that you wanna do something, you should always be trying to get to that level. You know what I mean? Like, I do music, I do YouTube, I write, but you know, sometimes you slack off, but I feel like the goal should be to never quit working on something to get you to that level. You know what I mean? Like, I get on here, I do sneaker reviews. I don't always wanna do sneakers. Like, I don't always wanna be, I don't even wanna be known as a 
sneaker YouTuber. All right, I try to I put that in my bio. I try to make it so that it is known that I'm not just a sneaker guy. I have other things that I would like to do. And part of me doing the sneakers is so that I can stay practicing and be in front of the camera and practicing on my editing and video skills because the editing and the telling the stories through videos is a part of the creating process and me doing something that I love to do. It's not always about me buying a pair of shoes and showing you the gear that I'm wearing or the new sneakers. It's not all about that. Uh, that's just me buying shit that I like. What it's about is the practice, the practice, the practice. And, uh, all right, how can I make this video better? Everything that I used to film before, everything that I used to film before used to be exclusively filmed on my cell phone, which is what I'm filming from right now, my Pixel 2 XL, right? A few years ago, 2016, I upgraded uh, and got a Canon T6i. When I did that, my video quality improved dramatically, right? And that is what, when you see most of my sneaker videos, that is what I'm filming from, is from the Canon T6i. So my video quality improved and that made my channel improve and that made, you know, more subscribers, more people were like, oh man, your videos look better, Ralph. Like, it's just the quality of what I'm trying to put out there improved. I'm sorry for the shakiness. I talk with my hands. I move a lot. Uh, so it's always for me about taking that next step and always improving and not quitting. Whether that is right now, like I'm, I'm filming this from my phone, but I've been thinking maybe I should get another camera, a smaller camera that I could take around and do this kind of stuff with. I could do the vlogging and everything with easier and maybe it'll look better. How can I take this channel to the next level? So if you've noticed over the last few months, you've noticed that I've gone from strictly doing uh, sneaker unboxings to maybe let's talk about a pair of shoes that I didn't review before. And that's where I started different series. I started the I Never Reviewed That series. Um, that came up, hey, what's a new idea? What's something I can take this channel to another level with? Then I started doing the Walk In My Shoes series, which is this. I'll get a pair of shoes, we'll go for a walk. We'll just talk, it doesn't have to be about sneakers. And um, I also started doing tech reviews in the last, uh, last few months. And some of those have gotten some good responses too. I'm always looking for ways to improve this channel and how to stay relevant and how to stay creative and keep things going, make it exciting for those who view my channel. I don't want to just be the guy that does the sneaker videos. Um, I have a buddy, one of my best friends, his name is, I call him JT, and he has a show, if you haven't seen it on here, it's called Business Casual. Go and check it out right now. My boy JT does his thing, it's called Business Casual. But I look up to him because he does something that I have always wanted to do. I've always wanted to write like a, a sitcom. And I wanted to put that out for people to do or, or to view, excuse me. And I just never I just never did it. I always stopped myself from being creative in that aspect. But I can keep it going in other aspects. Now, with seeing how he does it, that's something that I, I really want to do because my best friend, one of my best friends, has inspired me to try to pursue that path. Um, but the thing about me is I'm, I'm not funny. <laughs> He's funny. He's able to write those scripts and do those things to make it entertaining. I don't, I'm not funny like that. So that's something that I would like to work on in the future and maybe bring that to this channel Big Rock TV, and you might see a, a sitcom starring this face. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I just always want to keep it moving. You should never give up on your dream. Yes, life happens. I have a full-time career right now. I have a wife. I have three kids. 
attention everywhere. I don't know if you all know this, when I film my videos, I'm not usually dressed. I'm usually in like pajamas. <laughs> like I usually have on t-shirt and some shorts because I'm filming late night, usually, because my kids and my wife are asleep. And that's the best time for me to film and talk to you all and do these things on this video because it's quiet in the house. And at that time of night, nobody needs my attention. So, you know, you just gotta, you gotta find a way to do it. There's really no excuse to not do it. Oh, I don't have the money to buy a new camera and a computer and all that. I'm filming, I'm filming from my phone. You can see it in the reflection. If you have a cell phone, you have means to do it. I'm under a light right now. Look at this. I'm under a light right now. You don't need to buy lighting. You just find the lighting that you have around you and make it happen. If this is something that you want to do, get out there and do it, man. Get out there and do it. There's really no reason to not be out here doing it. Just never let that creativity die. However you got to do it, whether it is if you got to get out there like me right now, if you got to get out there and you got to unbox some sneakers or you got to, you know, talk about kicks all the time, do it, man. Do it. Get yourself rolling. Go do something. Put that creative juice out there. That's really all I wanted to talk about today, man. Peace.